All right, everyone, welcome to Virtual GM. I'm Spencer, and with us for the first time is Breck Dockstader. What's up, everyone? Excited to be here today. Breck's the owner of Viber Management, and we've talked about him a lot on the podcast. He also owned and ran the Cliff Rose Lodge, which is in Springdale, Utah, which is the entrance to Zion National Park. It's now part of the Hilton Curio Collection, which is Hilton's four diamond space, and Breck uh, is primarily the one responsible for taking it through that conversion. Uh, if you're interested in that, we talked a lot about that conversion and process. I think it was in our second or our third episode. So uh, his dad is also a, a hotelier as well. Maybe you can speak to that a little bit too. Yeah, um, I grew up in hotels. It's all I know, uh, especially lo the luxury boutique space. So it's been a really incredible journey. Um, we're in a destination market, so uh, we really thrive in, in places that have seasonality aspects to it. We're going to talk a little bit about that today, um, what you can do in your off season. But yeah, I grew up in hospitality. It's all I know. It's all I love. So that's yeah, awesome. If any of you guys haven't met Breck yet, he's amazing. He's uh, on a lot of the operations portions of our business. So uh, for our bigger full service management clients, Breck plays a huge role in those. And it's really cool to see what we can do with those properties. Um, so today we're going to be giving you four tips on things that you can do to maximize your holiday season. And this video is going live in the the first week of December is when it should go live. Um, so you have a lot of ramp up time and a lot of lead time before you have to implement this stuff. But if you got started the day that this video went live or even the first day of December, which is the day that we're recording this, it gives you a ton of time to prepare. Um, there are four really easy tips. None of these are like bank breaking. You don't have to invest a ton of money or capital just like time and effort, and they're all really things that will go a long way. Um, so we have four of them. The first one is just decorations. That should be pretty obvious. If you're in a boutique hotel, you don't have the same box standards that like a La Quinta or a Holiday Inn or something is going to force you into, so you can get pretty creative with it. Um, and I would even go like outside of your like lobby or your main space. Um, there's one property that we've seen that's like putting little Christmas trees in each of the rooms. And if the guests don't like it, they can just unplug it. Like it's not that big of a deal, but they have like little Christmas trees in there and they're not big. You can go get them at like a Smith's or your grocery store, like a real Christmas tree for $10. So if you're a 20 room property, you know, you're $200 in on just some small decorations that are quick and easy. So that's something that's super fun. It's easy and it's a personal touch in every single room that goes a long way. It's also something that people are gonna post about on their social media and say like, check out this place. They have this decorations up. The kids will love it. So that's our first tip. Yeah, number two is uh, gifts at check-in. This is probably one of the most underutilized things you can do in hospitality. And the, and the return on emotional value is huge. So you can do something very small and you just have no idea how far that goes with a client or a guest at, at check-in. So one of our properties a few years ago, we started doing just really small sugar cookies uh, during the holiday at check-in. And it was just amazing to see how excited the, the guests would be, especially guests with children. So it doesn't matter what it is. Like Spencer said with the last thing, you don't have to go out. A lot of people think you have to go out and break the bank on some of these things and go over the top. Little things go a long way. Even if you did like a little, you know, you know, you have enough money to do like a little welcome bag um, that's got holiday treats and it doesn't have to just be Christmas, right? We all, we all are aware of and, and understand that there are a lot of different holidays being celebrated right now so you can make it a holiday uh, welcome thing but do something right do something to make sure that the guests are checking in and they feel like oh this is, this was an unexpected thing and it just gives them a, an extra little thing whether it's a little chocolates on the pillows again those are things that you traditionally see at only like four or five star resorts why not do those things at like a three star that you you're traditionally more limited service but you can do those things and it just really elevates how they feel about your property so definitely I, I highly recommend welcome gifts during the holiday season. It goes so far and, and the guests really love it. And, and even for kids, like have a little back stock of, of little you know, stuffed animals or something like that. So when people are checking in, you can give them that. And it's just, 
a tr tremendous value add to, to what you're doing during the holiday season. Yeah, something like that's easy too. Even if you don't have the facilities to do it, you can get like an easy bake oven at Walmart for like 75 bucks. Yeah, <laughs> right? yeah. Yeah, it's, it's cheap and everyone has a sugar cookie recipe. Right. Or you can go get like little, little Pillsbury ones you just put into the easy bake oven. Yeah, right. right. I mean, there's there's so yeah, much you can do with super that. quick. Okay, uh, tip number three is hosting events. And this falls in line with everything we've talked about. It's not a bank breaker. This one's just, you need time to plan it and you need someone to execute it. Um, things that we've seen that are working really well, there's a property up the road from us that's having Santa come to the property. And th the property is probably only at like 20 or 30% occupancy. So the guests aren't experiencing the events fully, but the community is coming out to them, which is really, really great, if, especially in a place of seasonality where you can get more people to the property and then they're thinking about doing like a staycation or they're at least there and they can spend money in some capacity. So if you're charging for like hot chocolate or whatever, but if you have like people singing like Christmas carols, they can go sit on Santa's lap, whatever. Do you have some crayons there? Kids can draw like a picture or something. You can do a contest, things like that. But if you can get the community around you involved and there's something there, if you work with your chamber of commerce to help promote and push that type of information out, that does help with the guests too. So if you send out like a mailer and it was like the start of November, or excuse me, uh, end of November, start of December, and you sent out something through your MailChimp on an email campaign that said, hey, Santa's coming. He's going to be here December 20th, 21st, and 22nd. He's in the lobby from, I don't know, six to five to six yeah. or something like that, right? That's something that's really cool that will be a huge value add, and it's also something fun that's right before Christmas. It's a unique experience for previous guests, so they may return for that reason. That's just the one idea with Santa. There's so many other ideas you can do in the holiday season, of course. You can do a New Year's party. You can do, I mean, it, it's a boutique hotel, so anything you want. That's the beauty of operating in the boutique world. Yeah, and I, you, opening it to people outside of your hotel, you can use that also as a marketing tool, right? So mm -hmm. that people are like, oh, wow, how cool that this hotel opened it up to guests from other properties. Well, next time they're going to book, where are they going to book, right? Exactly. So it's an incredible mar marketing opportunity, yeah. a great way to get involved people in the People put community. on their Instagram yep. stories, yeah, so, tag your property. Definitely. Awesome. And again, like what Spencer was saying, a lot of this stuff, people just tend to think it has to be really big and expensive. Absolutely not. You know, just right. you, you don't have to break the bank for these things and they go so far. Totally. Yep. Yeah. Great point. Uh, number four we're going to talk about is promos. Uh, this is something that we've really dived into a vibrant the last few years, um, especially in our, in our really high seasonality market. So for example, in our properties that are around the national parks, uh, December, January, February are off season months and, and you know, occupancy goes way down, demand goes down, and of course, pricing comes way down. Well, um, we wanted to, to, to try and find a different way to approach that where we didn't have to just follow the rest of the pack to the bottom of the pond, try and increase our length of stay. So we really, what we've done is, is really focused highly on promos. And we found that, that our, our guests really love that as well. So I'll take Watchman Villas and Zion, for example. You know, we run these 40% off, two or more nights, things like that, that, that encourage people to come and stay longer. And of course, as we all know, uh, a longer length of stay is exponentially more profitable. So even if you're running a three night promo, four night promos at a pretty significant discount, that's where you really start to see some real gains in, in your off season business. You don't have to rent as many rooms. People love that. And so make sure you, you've got a website, pop-ups on your website we do that a lot yep. right so it's popping up on your website even if someone's going to look at your property on OTA they usually will also go look at your independent site and so you want to make sure if they're coming to your site from the OTAs that that you're keeping them there that you're keeping them engaged on your site and that they're booking with you and I think a big thing during the holiday season and the off season whatever your off season is during your off season months if your off season is July make sure during July you've got a pop-up on your website talking about a promo to increase length of stay and keep that, that direct to you consumer. Yeah, if you wanna see a really good example of this, go to watchmanvillas.com. There should be a pop-up that happens within two seconds. Um, and I think it's 40% off Yeah. right now. Yeah, and then there's another one too that's just at the canyon, uh, flanagans.com. Now let's stay three nights, get your fourth night free. So pretty similar, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, th these are great properties and we're, and really you you, highlight your property in a totally unique way and a lot of people just aren't doing it so right. yep. hopefully our tips can help you uh, elevate what you're offering especially captivating the off season and again we're talking about the holidays but but just keep those things in mind as well for your other off seasons 
Yep. Uh, we want to know what things you guys want to hear about on Virtual GM. If you have anything specific topics, feel free to email me, spencer at thevibrantteam.com. Or if you get this video in an email, just reply to the email with a topic that you're curious about, and we're more than happy to do an episode on that. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Yeah, thanks, everyone. We'll see you later. Thank you.